Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Lehman. I'm the Partnership Development Specialist with CFB Kingston, and I have the pleasure of introducing two wonderful women today. I have Gabby Eaton and Josie Walsh with me today. They are from the Women Be Mean Business Network of Eastern Ontario. And this is a network and an organization that truly builds confidence through education, connections, and inspiration. And I'm so thrilled to be able to speak with them today. Hello, ladies. Hello, oh, thank you. Lou, and hello. Thank okay. you for the opportunity. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy to be able to speak with you. You, have, you offer such a wonderful program, and I'm thrilled to be able to share it uh, to our community. So let's just get started. Women Mean Business. What a catchy name. <laughs> what led to this organization standing up and why the name? Well, that's a very good question, Leslie. Actually, we started about eight years ago in 2012, and uh, Gabby and I met. We're both from the corporate sector, hospitality, tourism, also publishing from my end. And uh, when we got together, we just started to talk and connect. Uh, it's a quintessential entrepreneurial story. We were at um, a coffee shop. I guess it was Starbucks here locally in Kingston. And uh, I like to nickname them as the um, unofficial uh, official supplier of entrepreneurs everywhere and dreams, because really we, we did create this business on a napkin <laughs> at, in one of the, in, at the coffee shop over six months of talking. And, and Gabby, God love her, said, okay, that's enough talking. Why don't we do something? And, um, and so, yes, yes. And actually our very first event was with Canadian Forces Base Kingston, um, we decided to do a, um, an event at the Vimy's Officers' Mess where we would bring women from the forces as well as military wives, the community, and introduce them to as many women in business um, from the Kingston community. And it, it was a fantastic success. I mean, over 180 women showed up. Uh, it was a fashion show. It was a trade show. It was a connection time. People didn't know what to expect, but it was... It, it, um, it really hit a nerve. It seemed to ha hit a niche that was really needed. Mm -hmm. And women love to connect. They yeah. really do. Um, there was a need for women in business to meet one another. It, it can be a very lonely road, owning your own business. So meeting other women that are in similar positions, same sort of mindset, and also meeting the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces, that was a great opportunity for many people because a lot of them did not have this type of opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting to meet people in business in Kingston and say, we love our military uh, community. What do they do? <laughs> <laughs> and, so it was very funny. And, and, and Leslie, as you know, I'm also a military wife of many years. Mm -hmm. My husband served for about 38 years. So that's, you know, the military has become my family for a couple of decades. So um, to, to meet business people and, and they don't really, they want to support so much what the military is doing, but they just didn't, weren't sure how to go about that. They were too shy. So it was wonderful to, for Gabby and I to become this liaison. And women mean business. Well, that just says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. No, it's, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Yeah. yeah. If anybody ever asks us, you know, why do you do this? We just show the card and say, because <laughs> women <laughs> business. <laughs> Excellent. No, that's fabulous. So you've been in business together for a very long time. And, and, and from knowing you, you both had wonderful um, backgrounds and businesses that you basically brought together to really create this Women Be Mean Business Network. So that's, that's wonderful. So what types of services would you provide um, to your members um, at the Women Mean Business Network? We had to navigate. I mean, we had to first of all figure out what, what is it that women were looking for, what they wanted. Um, so at, at the beginning was more of a guesswork, but also from our own experience. And honestly, we, we found education is, is very key. So we started to create these very dynamic, very powerful uh, events where women came together to listen to a very top-notch speaker in and their expertise of their field. Um, they loved it. But also what was really interesting was women came up to us and said, you know, I can't put my finger on it. I can't quite explain it. But there is this energy in the room. I feel really good when I'm here and I feel safe, which was an interesting word to hear over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, even when men who would come sometimes to our events, because it's, it's open, yeah. Um, depending on the event, they would say the same thing. Hey, you know, how do I join? <laughs> and, and it was very interesting how it sort of just had its own life. 
-hmm. And then after a while, Gabby and I, of course, got to know our network much better. Um, we started to create events, but also initiatives that would help them connect with each other more. It's very powerful because here's business women meeting one another. And what that means is they can share ideas, but they can also collaborate with one another. So what happens is you start, uh, women who have probably never met each other before, all of a sudden now have gotten to know each other, have this little trust factor. Next thing you know, they're getting together and they are creating their own events and initiatives together to help grow each other's business. Mm -hmm. uh, leveraging, basically. Very powerful stuff. So before we knew it, Gabby and I, over these eight years, have developed uh, a readership of about 1,300 plus business women owners, women in the corporate sector and government sector, who love coming to our events, learning, uh, connecting with each other. Mm -hmm. And now with what's happening with COVID-19, that was such a heart and soul part of our company. So Gabby and I had to pivot very, very quickly. You know, what, what does that mean now? We can't physically connect. Right. But luckily, we live in a time of this great opportunity with Zoom and other online opportunities. So we created very quickly um, these presentations online. Again, the connecting but, and offering education, but in a different way. And I think Gabby wanted to explain that a little bit further as well. Yes, I'd love to do that. Yes, exactly. I mean, the famous word now, pivoting, what can I say? And within 72 hours and having 1,300 in our community of leadership and supporters and friends, there was no way that Josie and I were going to hide. <laughs> That's just not part of our DNA. So we created, um, so, you know, with the word social distancing, we created social and up close network lounge and then designed a 10-week program on key presentations that would help our business owners and leaders and associates and those in the workplace that we're still working, how to deal with the situation with COVID-19. And that included everything from social media presence on the platforms that are available to you, to mental wellness and isolation, nutrition, fitness, um, your online presence. I mean, there was some, when, when this all started and you, I was on with some other people, I would say to one person I was speaking to, and I said, I think you better close your closet door because I like your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're, we have home offices, so we're used to the atmosphere of an office, but if you're thrown into a home office from, from home from work, it's so different. So we, we thought we better have something about online presence and how is your presence because that's the same thing as in person. No, Very I much so. I think, um, I mean, I've taken many of your workshops and many of your webinars and they're extremely helpful, beneficial, even as things as like, you know, even on a Zoom call, what's the right lighting? What's the right background you should be using? How do you present yourself, you know, online? So everything that you're, that you're offering right now is exactly what many of the businesses need um, yeah. during this time. Um, so thank you for that. Oh, you know, and it it was a pleasure for us to put this together and it's amazing you know what you can do like anything you you are in a situation and you got to take action and mm -hmm. just go with it don't overanalyze it look at the situation and create and we love both Josie and I are very creative and very much aligned in our thinking so that really helps the process to move forward quickly right now you said that you have roughly 1300 um, businesses that you work with so that must mean that you work with small businesses and large businesses as well. So can you just go into that a little bit perhaps and just let us know, do you generally deal with entrepreneurs or are you dealing with the larger businesses as well and providing them with um, you know, the webinars and, and the, um, the training as well? Josie, do you want to ta tackle sure. that? It's a, very, um, it's a very diverse group of, of women um, and industries that are represented. So we have solopreneurs, small to medium sized businesses, owners, uh, plus even some, some of them who own uh, 10 million plus uh, global companies. Right. So it's, it's a real diverse group, but I find we, we tend to help more of the smaller business owner, uh, small to medium sized business owner, the one who really wants to connect with other business owners and grow grow themselves because if they grow themselves, quite frankly, they will grow their business. That's true. Uh, it, it just works that way. Mm -hmm. And if they can find like-minded people that are also trying to go on this dynamic course, 
they're not alone. It's, it's a great feeling to not be alone and, and work together and quite frankly, grow the community. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, and we have, sorry, uh, we have such influencers in our network and, and there, as Josie said before, there's a certain energy when we come together, even online, mm -hmm. uh, it's helping, it's very genuine and very authentic and yeah. real and uh, people can be vulnerable if they wish to. And yeah. there's no judgment and if we're all inclusive as Absolutely. well, which is very important. Absolutely. So you've given us so much information so far. Um, are there any new programs that you'd like to highlight at this time? Like I know that Josie, you've, you've given us a lot of great information. Any new programs that, that you'd like to speak about right now? Well, you, 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 Go ahead. you guys know Gabby and I over the years, so you know we're always up to something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, and this, this is really unusual times. So um, I love the word pivot and also re-engineering in, in many ways. Yes. Um, so Gabby and I, we love Zoom now, but we're always uh, talking to each other. How do we grow the business in a different way? But also really the first question we always ask is, okay, how can we serve? How can we serve our clientele? What exactly are their needs right now? What are they going through? Um, at one point, it was, it was feeling a little bit dark. Um, some there, sometime there in April, and the weather was horrible, as you can remember. So Gabby, of course, God love her, let's have a party online. <laughs> What's to stop us? So I kid you not, we, we had a wine tasting party, and, and a lovely gentleman from Seed to Sausage, the owner, um, Mike McKenzie, that showed us how to do a, a charcuterie board from home. So people went out, purchased the wine, um, some of the, the, the items from Seed to Sausage, uh, we all sat down, about 40 of us, and had a wonderful time. We even had a singer to sort of kick us off. So, you know, it's about being creative. It yeah. is about, um, I don't like to use the word too much, thinking outside of the box, but it is. It's about being creative. But also, uh, what leads us all the time is, is what exactly can we do to help our business community? And that's what helps us. I, uh, I was at that um, event <laughs> from, from my work at home location. I did attend that event. It was great. I think it's all about not, not really, um, you know, thinking out the box, but being innovative, being creative. Yes. Um, we, we're all using the word pivoting, and I know that you've used it as well. Um, but it's all what can we do and how can we still serve the community yet not really be with the community? So we're serving them from a distance, which yes. is really a learning it's a learning process for everyone and had we not had access to all this wonderful technology i don't honestly know where we would be um, in the business community because we'd be so disconnected and i think remaining and, and keeping those connections strong during this time is extremely important so thank you very much again ladies for all that you do that's it's, oh, it's wonderful thanks. Thanks. Um, you are very passionate about mentoring women um, working with small businesses where does that drive come from like where does the mentoring drive come from and was there an event that kind of precipitated it all um i think for for gabby and i we're um we're both first generation canadian daughters of, of immigrant parents um well. a lot of our core beliefs values faith work ethic has been instilled by very hard working people with great dreams of their own for their, for their families and a better life. Uh, plus, Gabby and I both have experience in the corporate sector, in the hospitality sector. So it's very people-oriented, yes. very people-service-oriented. Um, but also, because we've owned our own businesses over the years, you have to be a self-starter. You have to develop self-discipline. Um, because people keep saying the word passion. And yes, you do need to have passion for sure. But, but honestly, passion doesn't guarantee success. Um, we find that if you've had discipline to persevere, um, usually that will bring the success that you're looking for, especially in entrepreneurship, because it can be a very hard road at times. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the reasons actually the military uh, personnel, when they, when they go into transition out of the military, they can be very successful business owners. They, they've developed a lot of these very, very important traits yeah. So, yeah. And, and we're there to also as, as an organization to help. So, you know, people who are transitioning, who are looking into perhaps owning their own business in some way, this is a good place to perhaps meet others um, that have gone ahead of them and mm -hmm. to learn. Fabulous. Let's talk Claudia Harvey. 
Well, Claudia <laughs> Harvey is a dragon. Uh, she's a CEO um, and an entrepreneur. She's made a phenomenal business, an extremely successful business. You have offered two wonderful programs. You've had Claudia come in and speak uh, at the Warrington Sergeant's Mess, if I'm not mistaken, about a year and a half ago. You partnered with her again, and she's now about to give us another um, great presentation next week. What's so special about Claudia? And what like what's the connection there like she's she's a phenomenal speaker and what do you think she brings to your organization well claudia and i we met in toronto we made a point of meeting in toronto through the network of my hospitality business and life in toronto you meet a lot of people and build some amazing relationships uh, so that's been carried on even if i've been here for now 15 years and claudia and i made a point of meeting over lunch and this is at the early stages of women mean business and we weren't quite ready for her then, but I did say to her at that lunch that yes. there will be a day that we, you are coming to Kingston because I want to share your story. I mean, just imagine starting her success by attending a backyard barbecue and yes. a woman says to her, oh, you know, my meals get dirty with gardening. She goes home and creates a prototype glove doesn't tell any member of her family because sometimes there's naysayers who don't believe in you, right? She yep. persevered. That perseverance and also her core values and of who she is uh, and what she did is incredible. And I think that is such a testimony and inspiration. It's not about having that title, I'm an author, CEO. It's that what's in you and what difference can you make no matter where you are in your life. And that is what she inspires to. And that's what we want to share. So if someone were to want to connect with Women Mean Business and get more information from you, how would you suggest they connect with you? What's the best way to contact either one of you? Well, go to our website. Josie, you can take it from there. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, just, you know, honestly, go to our website, www.womenmeanbusiness.ca, and from there you can subscribe for free to our bi-weekly newsletter. It's called Connect and Flourish. Uh, you can also check that out online as well. But basically that is how we connect with our 1,300-plus readership here, uh, letting them know what events are coming, but also resources that are available to them, especially um, during this COVID-19 pandemic, um, resources for businesses and such. So yeah, that's the easiest way. Just go online and you'll also get our information, our, our uh, email, how to connect with us as well. Absolutely. So one thing I have to make all of our followers aware of is that uh, the Women Mean Business Network of Eastern Ontario has sponsors CFE Kingston. You're involved in the Garrison Family Fun Fest. You've also been involved in other um, events as well. Uh, Josie, yourself, you've been involved with Juna's Recreation Month. So on behalf of the base and CFB Kingston, I'd like to thank you for all of your support. Um, just supporting as well me personally and, and allowing me to grow and develop and, and connect with all these other fabulous uh, women and businesses. It's really allowed me to network um, in Kingston and allowed me um, the ability to really grow um, our programs here as well. Now, everyone, wants to partner with the base you mentioned your fashion show a few years ago which was the first um, experience you mentioned also that you truly value partnering with with the base and we appreciate that very very much is there one particular moment where you had that aha moment that you realized partnering with the base was was one of the decisions better decisions that you made along your path well i think all along right from our early days when um, the first event where we wanted to support the Kingston Military Crown Resource Center at that time. Uh, we had a sign auction at our first event and we presented a check for $2,000 at our first event. Mm -hmm. So we are all about community and supporting period. I mean, we have to, we're in this community, it's a, a community that supports one another. And being part of your event there in that September, I have to tell you, as an event planner with my event planner hat, top notch. Yes. Congrats to you all for an amazing execution of having so many people there and having it so well organized. I was so impressed. And not only that, it was wonderful to meet all the families yeah. of the community. For me personally, to be involved, like Josie is in the middle, has been with the military, it was something new for me as well, which yeah. I embraced. And also 
Um, also the opportunity to meet some of your sponsors, your wonderful sponsors that we, you know, great evening with your reception. Everybody was so warm and inviting. So congratulations to you, your you and your entire team there. It was just awesome. Well, thank you. Honor we, and privilege to be part of that. <laughs> thank um, you. We, we love, uh, we love running events for the base. That's, that's what we do. And uh, we're here to serve them. And uh, we're able to serve them uh, because we have we, because we have wonderful partners uh, like yourselves. So I just wanted to thank you again um, for your time, uh, Josie and Gabby. Uh, you provide us with wonderful information about the Women Mean Business organization. Um, we have your website and contact information. We'll be sure to share that at the end of this video as well. Um, and we truly appreciate the partnership that we have with you. I look forward to working with you for many, many years to come. Uh, it's a wonderful organization. Um, if any businesses are thinking about just starting up or networking, I, I highly recommend that you contact the Women Mean Business Network of Eastern Ontario. Speak with Gabby, speak with, jo speak with Josie. Um, they're a wealth of knowledge and information. And uh, Women Mean Business will definitely be the right choice to help you grow and develop uh, your business. So thank you again, ladies, for everything, for your time, and for sharing your story with us. Thank, Leslie, you, thank you very, very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Very much appreciated. PSP Kingston, the health and wellness provider for the military community.